Hi, this is Narayan. So let us look at a C development tool to practice, to learn and practice C programming. The idea of this session to is to introduce uh, to a C development tool and we'll be looking at one particular tool to get us started. There are many other options. Feel free to use any tool that you're comfortable with. The tool that we'll be using is Eclipse CDT with MingW. Now note that Eclipse CDT does not contain the compiler. and You'll have to explicitly download an external compiler. In this particular case, we'll be using the MingW compiler. So first, go ahead and download the MingW from this particular directory. Once you click this link, you will see down below the GUI installer link and click on this particular link to get the latest version. Once you click that, uh, you will see a page containing sim something like this and what we want is the latest version. So go ahead and download the latest version of MingW that's right here. And then go ahead and install run the particular executable and install MingW. So just follow the wizard and install it. Once you do that, you'll have to set up the path variable manually. So use my computer, right click on it and properties and select the advanced tab to set the path variable and add c colon slash mingw slash bin into the path variable. So whichever directory you have installed the mingw in, add that particular path slash bin in the path variable. Now this is needed so that the next tool that you are going to install can automatically launch the mingw compilers. So in case you don't know how to set a path variable, uh, once you have clicked right click on my computers and system properties right and the advanced tab so once you see this particular window you will actually see in the system variable you will see something called as path to scroll down to see to come to to locate this particular uh, environment variable and set the first entry as c colon slash ming w slash bin and semicolon. So you have to click, you'll have to click edit and then set the path. And then say OK. Next, we'll install the Eclipse CDT. So search for Eclipse CDT and download the Eclipse CDT installation zip file. This is the link that you would get once you search for the Eclipse CDT. So you'll see something like this uh, before the download for the download links and choose the operating system that you have. In our case, we are using the Win32, Windows 32 bit Windows. And this will actually download a zip file, the Eclipse CDT zip file. So go ahead and extract the downloaded zip file uh, manually, say into C colon slash. And then create a shortcut in the desktop for c colon slash eclipse slash eclipse dot exe. So this will make our life easier. We just have to double click on the shortcut uh, to actually launch the development environment. At any point, feel free to pause and then uh, do the necessary installation. So once you double click on the shortcut, it will actually launch the CDT environment. So this is the in development environment. And now go ahead and click File, New Project, and C Project. You will get this, this particular uh, dialog box. In the project name, type My Home. So creating a project called My Home. Creating a C project called My Home. You will also see the tool change that has been installed that we could detect at a moment. So in this 
this particular our case, we have installed Ming, we have already installed Ming Dot Ming, and we have got is able to locate Ming Dot Ming. So if you click on this particular tool chain, in this case, we have multiple uh, tool chains in here. So if we are going to use Ming W to create a project, we can click on this. Then once we create a project, you see a project called Ming Hello. You can actually add a source. Source file. Get a dialog box like this. Then type in the source file as myhello.c. Once you do that, you will get a editor to type your source. So you just go ahead and type this particular source. Right? It's a simple source file that actually prints hello world. So here's what it would look like. So you will see uh, you have actually got go ahead and type the whole the simple source file we are just want we just want to verify whether our installation is successful is there any problem in build so now we go ahead and build this particular project so we right click here on this particular project and say build project so as you can see here it has actually ran the ming tool the gcc compilers and it has created a file called myhello.exe. So it has successfully created myhello.exe. Now we need to check if it's able to execute the exe file. So right click on myhello and say run as local C, C++ application. And in the console tab down below, you will actually see the output hello world once you see this output, you are done. The installation is successful. Hope you have liked the session. And I'm going to upload all my videos in the YouTube channel Narayan Ayer 21. Look forward for your comments and let the learning journey begin. Thanks.